Hey, this is Dr. Bob with Carolina Bayou Pet Care. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about distemper in cats. That's one of the core vaccines that veterinarians in general give, we give of course, uh, to cats to protect against this potentially life-threatening virus. Now when we give the feline distemper vaccine, we're not protecting against just feline distemper. We are so, we're also protecting against some other core uh, viruses that we're trying to protect your cat against, but we're going to focus our attention a little bit today on the feline distemper. Uh, we also refer to feline distemper as panleukopenia, um, and it is it is actually caused by a parvo virus. Now, parvo you probably heard of in dogs. We don't refer to it as parvo in cats, but it is also a parvo virus. It's very similar to parvo in 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 dogs and in puppies primarily. It is, again, a life-threatening disease, and again, we can easily, easily protect your cat against, um, against this uh, feline distemper. Now, when we give the vaccine, we generally use a designation called FVRCP, which stands for Feline Viral Rhinotracheitis, which is an upper respiratory disease, a Khaleesi virus, another upper respiratory disease, and, of course, we also do have the panleukopenia, which is the actual true feline distemper. Now, it does affect the body by attacking primarily the body's immune system. It can also attack the respiratory system, and it can also attack the intestinal tract as well. So it is hitting different areas of the body when we do see the feline, leukemia, feline, excuse me, feline distemper. Um, we see it primarily in kittens, and again, it can be fatal primarily with kittens because their immune system is so poorly developed. As far as how do cats get it, the easiest way, of course, is through direct contact with another cat that is carrying it. If a cat is not protected, if it has not been vaccinated, then certainly it's going to be at high risk of getting exposed to it if it gets around other cats or kittens that may be carrying the virus. However, it does not require direct contact with another cat. There was a well-known case in New York City where a uh, a cat was living in a high-rise apartment, never went outside, never exposed to any other animals, yet got the disease. And it was actually traced back to an, a, a, a friend of the, the pet parent of the cat, and this friend actually had a dog with parvovirus. The parvovirus was actually on the clothing of the friend from the, from the infected puppy. The friend came to visit the, uh, the cat parent in the apartment and actually caused or created exposure to this cat, which consequently died of feline distemper and never came into contact with another cat or came with, and never came into contact with a dog. But through direct contact with this individual, the cat got the disease and passed away, unfortunately. So that just tells you of the contagion or the contagious nature of the virus. It does live for quite a while outside of the host animal, out of the, the carrier cat. Uh, but the key takeaway, we can protect your cat with a vaccine. Now, initially we give, uh, we give an initial series, depending on what age we start uh, seeing your kitten for the vaccines. And then we reach a point where they'll get the vaccine every three years to protect them for life. So just be aware, this is a highly contagious, potentially life-threatening disease, easily to, to protect them, and that's what we're here for. So uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. If you'd like to see our upcoming schedule, go to our website, carolinavaluepetcare.com, and click on the schedule, and we hope to see you soon. Thanks, and make it a great day.